Hello, it's Fenton here. Let's play Monster Train. Uh, it was a Primordium run, and it didn't didn't really work last time, did it? It was a bit it was a bit sad. Let's go, Little Fate. How can you possibly lose? How you can't? That's the answer, and that it almost certainly now means I have squandered this run straight away. Knock back Talos, Arcus uh, with the with the things. Darkness, Arcus. Uh, Seraph the Patient. Two entombed explosives, two energy siphons, and the memories of the melted. That's right, it's Stygian Guard. Regular Stygian Guard, though. So, frozen lances, not none of this stupid. Primitive, not uh, uh, the, 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 the foregone power. Oh, God, I hate that card. I hate it. And anyone who hates foregone. Anyone who hates Plink more than that card is wrong. Let's go. Let's go here first. I still don't know really which one is correct. Spell weakness is okay. I uh, like me some spell weakness. Hell's Banners is also pretty good. Because Little Faye's just going to be coming back the whole time. And I'm going to be reforming uh, Entombed Explosives pretty much a lot. It seems like to me. But two spell weakness is not to be sniffed at. You know, you get a Crystallis, suddenly that's 75 times 2. Just for being on the top floor, like that's pretty good. I'm not sure we need Hell's Banners currently. Like, it is a nice energy relic, energy artifact, but it's, you know, it's nice. To, it's nice uh, to see once you've definitely got a plan with this. We'll just have lots of energy in our hand, spare. I guess it really depends on which little fade we get as well. I'm gonna take the Totem Fragment, I think. Admittedly, we don't really have any high damage spells, but we can find high damage spells. Mm. Ah, I guess it's Eternal Flame, then. Yeah, I guess it's Eternal Flame. I don't really like Firelight here. Not really much going on with it. It's hard to have anything going on with it to start with, to be honest with you, unless you start with, like, a draft or something. 10 armor for a unit draft. I probably should have looked at a map before we went any further than this. Stygian on a Merchant of Steel side. Remnant banner on the Merchant of the Steel side. Or a Stygian banner on the Artifact side. Interesting. So Little Fade is good. Uh, this particular path is good. Uh, but it, uh, she needs a tank. Big time. This is not enough health. The damage goes off the chain pretty pretty quickly. But uh, she needs a tank. And thankfully Stygian is quite good at that. And Mel Melting is also arguably quite good at that. Like a Weakless Baron or something. Uh, I don't know if I want to take this. I think it's fine. With the Entombed Explosives, that's quite a lot of damage. And we're going to be reforming the Entombed Explosive. It's pretty much all day. Except when you get a hand like this. Uh, oh, your damage shield one as well. How could you do this to me? Yeah. Well, that gets rid of the armor at least. I don't think I want the game speed quite as high as that. Uh, that doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> ah, this may have been a mistake. This may have been wrong. Um, also not getting this collector. I'd like to have you dead again, but I just don't... I won't... You'll be dazed on the top floor and this guy just walks up. I think we'll just have to call this fine. And obviously it's not particularly fine, but it's... It's okay. I've given you another damage shield, because of course... Yeah. 
I don't even want to play these trains too. I'll play them on the bottom. I'll play one on the bottom. I'm not going to play one here. A fresh entombed explosive. That's so strange. Do I want to take five for this? If I play the Entombed Explosive, right, it's just a waste. Oh no, it's not a waste, because... I oh, know it is a waste. <laughs> you hit the Entombed Explosive, it dies. Takes your damage shield away straight away? Or does this happen first? If it takes your damage shield away straight away, then it still makes no difference. Only the front one is dead. So you're going up regardless, basically. I'll just play it down here. And I will play a Train Steward. I don't think we really need to worry too much about making sure about the reform pool here. We should be okay. All this could just happen and it's fine. Uh, except we need to just put something in front of Little Fade here. Just need to draw a one reform. Yeah, uh, ideal. Ideal. Didn't even need it. Forgot about the, uh, forgot about a totem fragment. I'm good at this game, if you can't tell. I do likes me a molded. I also likes me a draft. And then I just never play the train stewards and all of the primitive mold hits are good, reducing the need to have a targeted reform. It's a bit slow though, isn't it? Drafts. It would have been fine if I'd have taken the other uh, path. But as I say, I don't think you can take the other path on the assumption you'll see a draft or a remnant host. I think you just have to start with a draft or a remnant host for that path to be any good. Or start with this or something. I will take a molded. Seems silly to pass up a molded in this clan combination. And an offering token. Alright, what you got for me? There is a weakless baron. There is also a siren of the sea. Wigless Baron can get quite big. We do need a way to kill backline, currently is a problem. Double heavies should suffice from Wickless Baron, Multi-Strike and Little Fade should kill double heavies. Uh, the Entombed Explosive certainly help as well. I think it's just Wickless Baron all day here. Pretty sure it is. This is not as good of a tank as this. And that Siren of the Sea is a good tank. <laughs> so... Plus with the bringing back the Entombed Explosives and things like that, it just seems solid. That's a lot of harvests. I'll give him plus 25, I think. Silophyte. Silophyte, Baron, Little Fade, take space, put Entombed Explosives in front. That's the floor. It's Seraph the Patient, but your chump blocking with uh, tomb units, it's mostly okay. Plus, we can maybe find the uh, Stygian tome, which will help a lot. Do we only ever beat Seraph the Patient on stream with the tome? It's possible. Can't remember how it goes. I was just complaining about not being able to kill backline. I don't know if Side of Fight is the answer to that. I mean, it says sweet printed on it. Stygian has good answers for backline in the t in terms of uh, like spells, like Ice Tornado and stuff like that. Like a, ice, a hold over Ice Tornado is very good. I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try it. And if I don't play her for the first uh, couple of combats, or I don't get much out of her for the first couple of combats, then that's, that's okay. I 
I might just take another unit shop here, so I think I'll save my money. I'm not going to purge or reroll here. Mark of Invasion. I think we can probably greed this for 75 gold. We've got frozen lances, we want Little Fade to die early anyway. Top floor is small. I'm drawing Silify next turn, but I can't actually afford... I haven't got the space to play her on the top. So I could play Wickless Baron on the top. And a Frozen Lance. He gain, he loses net 7. Even less if I put Little Fade in front first. And then we just don't play the Silify at all. Then Wickless Baron's online for the next turn. He kills one of these... An Entombed Explosive as well, maybe get something done. Or I just let all of this go up. I play a Frozen Lance down here. Take... 6. Then let these go up. 3 of these will go up as well, because... I'll put Little Fade in front. She'll die, Harvest Baron will kill the front one. Three of these will go up and I'll take another three from this. So I'm going to take nine in that scenario. Which sounds better to me. Oh, even the train... I forgot to account for the train steward. I can take... Not less, but I can uh, get Wickless Baron a bit more comfortable there. Yeah, much better. Was it a risky trial? For sure. For sure it was. But we also get the collector like this as well. Is this enough? This is probably just enough, right? Sweep for the back line. Little fade. Weakless Baron scaling. We'll just call it a day on this, I think. Eh. Yeah. What's my next hand going to be? My next hand's probably fine. No, but if I put you in front, then you go up. So I think I'm just gonna just get this sorted. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We got her. We got her in the end. So what? We took nine for that trial, and then now we're just yeah, we're in tasty position here. I don't want to encant you at all. I think I'm just going to leave you. I think I'm just going to leave it completely. Uh, I suppose I could have drawn one card, and if it was a tomb, I could have put it on the bottom. Cool. Thanks for showing up in Tuned Explosives. Hello, we're here now. What did we miss? Yeah, the party's winding down, folks. You, you better leave. I thought he was on for a rager, guys. No. A drip fall. I like the utility of a drip fall. I do. I genuinely do. And a flash freeze is finally targeted backline damage, which I've been after. Ice Tornado is quite good with this, but it's not very good for much longer. <laughs> I'd rather get something a bit more late game than this. Uh, like a Ancient Synergy or something. Like, this is fine. But playing it as your whole turn is a bit miserable, even though sometimes needs must. It does effectively say 60 damage to a random enemy unit three times, which is not to be sniffed at. But when you put that side by side with like an Ancient Synergy, it just kind of pales in comparison. I'm just going to assume that we're fine and take the targeted backline damage, 
And we're building up some answers here. We're building up answers to heavies. We're building up answers to backline. We've got a scaling unit. We've got two scaling units, actually. Actually. And we got some money to do some stuff here. Like, uh, quick on the side fight is very nice. Multi-strike on the weakless baron is very nice. This unit shop could be pretty good. Multi-strike. Class 25. A legion of wax. No, I always, always, always get baited into this bloody legion of wax. Every single time. Uh, a reroll here is a bit iffy. I'm just gonna leave it. Although plus 10 on the side of fight would not go amiss, actually. Alright, okay, yeah, you convinced me. There's only endless, that's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Sweep quick is pretty good. That solves backline for a lot of the game, and it gets Wickless Baron a lot more scaling. Uh, and we take space. And we almost certainly purge a train steward here. Yeah, these guys away. We're done with this. We're done with those folks now. Train steward. I think uh, if, I, if I were to build a mod when the mod pack comes out, which I won't, but I might, if I were to, I'd pay 60 gold to remove another train steward. That doesn't lose us this Talos fight, does it? We do have to be wary of um, the knockback here, but we can we can sort that out. We can just put a little fade in front. If I were to build a mod pack, I would probably just rename all of the units to have funny names, like train steward and uh, Brandon Warrior and uh, Middle Floor is small. How, how dare you? How could you do this to me? Uh, there are a bunch of other ones as well that I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm going to go into the logbook now just to. Uh... Brandon Warrior, of course. Everyone knows that one. Steve Worker. Or Animus of Steve. Either of those are good. Either of those are pretty funny. Wildenton is already called Wildenton, so that doesn't really work. Aaron Friend. Darren Friend. <laughs> Aaron and Darren. Brilliant. I'm so funny. Can't believe nobody watches these videos. How upsetting. Right. Um, if I draw here and it's Baron, I love it. If I play Little Fades... Side of fight takes five, which I don't like. I can't play mid, and top is a bit of a waste with the spell weakness, but I'm not really in it for the spell weakness, I'm in it for killing backline, so I think I'm going to just put her up top. Get a little fade dead now. Get rid of you going forwards. And I probably should have done this first, because uh, it's entombed explosive. You don't get anything for slay in this one, so you can you can just take fifty for being so rude to me. For the three realms, she says, taking a cool fifty damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um Do I need Little Fade to go a bit harder on this? I think I'm going to. Given that I've set up top, I've got the time to spare. So I will just do this. Uh, and then I've got several turns before I have to worry about anything happening. I just have to worry about the knockback, I suppose. I suppose this is also good because I can play Little Fade on the top should the knockback start to screw me over. She will have then died three times. But, you know, she has gone to the top. I think I'll do this, and I will not take seven at all. And then if Little Fade, if Talos comes back here and Little Fade dies again, then at least I can play her rather than risking having her die twice. She's dead here, but I'm going to draw memories almost certainly next turn, so it's actually worked out. That was also very neat and tidy, was it not? Uh, I might not even purge this train steward this fight. I might instead elect to do this. I 
Alright, Talos is never ever coming back up here. I did draw memories, that's nice. Why did I put her there? Does anyone want to explain that one to me? Why did I do that? Oh dear. Memories doesn't consume, does it? It does. Oh god. Oh god. Well, let's hope that doesn't cost me the entire run, because that would certainly upset me. I'm going to have to just leave you on 8. If it does cost me the entire run, I will definitely restart the battle, because that was a just a pure momentary lapse of concentration, and I don't feel like that should count. <laughs> I don't feel like I should be punished for such a mistake. Uh, I'm going to do this. Yeah, there we go. I'm so good. Monster Rail Spike came through in the clutch there to save me from myself. There's the Ancient Synergy. There it is. That's a much better card. That says 34 times 2. And it's the front unit. You don't have to rely on any bloody randomness. That's good. That also very much helps with killing backline, and uh, we don't really need any of this. I think we have the plan. The plan is set in motion. Two units go in front, get harvests, got the sweep, got the heavies, it's all good. Don't have a huge amount of money to go here. I think I want to thin the deck out slightly, get rid of some of these uh, train stewards and frozen lances, I guess, are quite poor as well. I could even think about duplicating something like the Flash Freeze, although that's a bit weak. Although getting minus ones on Ancient Synergy is actually very important, I think, now that I actually think about it for more than two seconds. This is our... We have to make... Yeah, like we're not going to get... There's a Remove and a Magic Shop here. This circle is not very exciting. This is probably where I'll go. I don't see why I would go here. I do need quick for Sight of Fight at some point. Probably. Maybe. Uh, but getting some minus ones on Ancient Synergy is nice. Very nice. I don't really need minus ones on anything else. Anything else. Like, I'm prob so I'm probably just going to do minus one reroll minus one. Which is very, very strong for a card this calibre. If Holdover is right there... If Holdover is just there, I will probably just do Holdover and minus one it. Uh, but we'll have to see. Shark, like, you're great, but you're not you're not what I want right now. Remove, consume, and plus one. I don't think so. Let's do this. And let's re-roll for the other minus one, and if it's holdover, it's double stack. It doesn't need to be held over. Is is not holding over a mistake? Just having one just having this every now and then. It's gotta be good. That card is so strong for one one damage. Uh, I'm not going to have enough money to buy an artifact regardless, so I may as well power up this Flash Freeze for a bit more backline targeting, and I will just spend the rest of this money, seeing as I said I was going to remove cards anyway. I do want some primitive molds, I just don't want them all, and I probably should have removed a Train Steward, because by removing spells I'm making my uh, Ancient Synergy a weaker. could pivot into Little Licorice, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, elbow update, just for anyone who cares. I burnt my elbow, I said the other day, on the oven door. It's, it's quite red. It's not blistered or anything. It's just it's just a touch sore, you know? It's just a touch sore. 
It's fine. I will live. I will not need an elbow transplant. Uh, this might have to be a bottom floor play so that these absolvers don't mess me up, but that's fine. That's fine. This guy can go up. It's interesting. If I flash freeze you, then the little fade doesn't die. If I flash freeze the little fade, you don't die, and I take a weight of contrition and a weight of contrition here and a weight of contrition here, which I don't really think I'm all about, to be honest with you. I think that is bad. I'll just get the Silophite down now and then not have to worry about any of it forever again. Give me this and give me this. It's not the card I wanted. You can go up, that's fine. I'll deal with you later. Oh no, the Clip Guardian lived. Not for much longer. Little Fade's ready to go. Yeah, that's fine. This is very good, in fact. You think this kills him? 170 times 3. Yeah, probably, probably would have been fine. Pilot Master. I can't think of a funny Pyrelight Master name. Danny Dialight Master. There we go. Remnant Host. What a card. Crushing Demise. Also, what a card. Uh, oh, these are interesting decisions. I do like Crushing Demise because I'm basically just playing on one floor, so being able to play a Crushing Demise to deal with a heavy, but Remnant Host, and reforming Remnant Host, like I did take space for exactly this reason. I'm gonna do it. And I'm not gonna do this. Frenzy's Swarm is weird, because I do... it's very powerful. It's very powerful to hold it over. Especially on a bottom floor where you're just you know, harvesting harvests, or any floor, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's clunky, because I kind of want Little Fade to die twice, and I suppose if I draw... It's such a good card. Like, it's such a good card. I mean, you give this minus one holdover, it's bonkers. I'm wor a bit worried about Holdover at the moment because I'm drawing Little Fade a couple of times which lowers my draw. Uh, I do have the Offering Token. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. That might be wrong. You might be able to look back on this run and say, ah, you should have taken that. I will take a free Artifact and some Pyre Health, I think, over some money. The only thing I would want here is Quick and the Concealed Caverns, which doesn't hugely excite me. And I want to save my money for... Actually, do I? Do I want to save my money? I'll probably duplicate the Ancient Synergy here. I'll get another free artifact and even more Pyre Health. Nah, I want the Pyre Health and I want the artifact. Units cost minus two. Alright, Little Fade is suddenly now just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, you, you are right. You are right, game. Uh, Little Fade can now just die, like, three times. That's extremely strong. It's not strong enough for sweep multi-strike, though, to be good. And here's a position where you think, oh yeah, Frenzied Swarm, that would be nice. 
So that just comes down to how much greed we want to take with a uh, little fade. And that is a good question. Yeah, I did feed you a sleigh. I'm gonna possibly have a problem with this. It's possible I have a problem with this. Uh, you die, it doesn't matter where I put you, does it? How many train stewards are in the deck? Three. With four primitive molds and unmolded. I think having a molded coming up and this in the discard pile means I am just going to start getting rid of these train stewards. And I would like that money. These Master of Lights are a bit scary, but... A bloody another one has arrived to farm me again. God, so bad. So, Silophite's dead. This floor's pretty good. As long as Silophite can live, like, if I can... Uh, I can't actually get this Master of Light dead. Can I? I'd need to do another 30 40 you. Do two drafts get me that? They do. Alright. Oh, you don't die because you've got. Oh, you've got burnout one? But that won't happen to the end. Ah, uh, don't work, does it? Ah, balls. I don't know if I should be wasting this much energy on keeping Silify alive. Because the back line is just Clip Shamans, right? And it will die. I just... Uh, the the only out I'm thinking now is Little Fade goes here, survives this round, and then next round I draw the Dripfall. And then punch the Master of Light in the face with Little Fade. But then I'm worried about Little... I mean, Little Fade can be separate from... I can elevate a Strat's Little Fade now, because she can, go, she can go down to... She can die five times, and it still only costs me three to play her. That is an absolute beast of a unit. I'm going to go for it. I take another Harvest away, but I've also then got the ability to play up here like this. And I'll do this and uh, do that. Why not? Eh. I'm not entirely sure I should have done that. But this is fine. Alright, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see what I've done to myself here. A 215 attack, 16 health enemy that costs 1 ember. Do you think that's good? Probably doesn't need to go in the back, but <laughs> there she is. 
Oh no! No! Oh, that's fine. I was gonna take I was gonna take another ten from you regardless. Eighteen, I should say. Ten, eighteen, it's all the same. They're all the same numbers. I mean, like, why would I not do this at this point? Show me a reason to not do that. Hi, oh, it's your style of fight. Welcome back to the team. Good to have you here. Just for completionist's sake, we will make that move. Assuming Blade engulfed in smoke seems pretty okay to me. I'm fine. I'm fine for those cards. Thank you. Thank you very much. Magic shop. Card removes. Another free artifact, more pyre health, a duplicate. I do like the duplicate. I do actually like the duplicate here. I like it a lot. I also like card removes a lot. But there's, uh. This is very interesting and very close. The magic Shop is. Fine, I want a minus one this, really, ideally. That's it, really, to be honest with you. There's nothing that desperately needs holdover or permafrost or remove consume or anything like that. Uh, and a free artifact. There's loads of free artifacts here that just help. Burn out, five damage is very good. Obviously, double, heart, uh, double extinguish is crazy. Even little things like armor five to the front unit is nice. These are not the ones I wanted. But I will take an Icicle Fracture. Can't hurt. Thankfully I didn't take a Frenzy Swarm. Ha ha ha! Uh, Ancient Synergy, right? Like, no question. Just to have some resiliency for heavies going to the top. We did take the token fragment for this reason. What have you got for me? What we got? Rally and Incan. That's, that's that's not ideal, but I, I guess none of them are ideal. Hellborn Harvest would also be quite terrible. Uh, I guess we're going top then. I guess we're going top. I was going to bung en uh, energy siphons on you for the whole game. That means I now can't play this, which maybe is bad. I want to leave these alive for the uh, all the harvests up here. You know what? I'll just take it. I've had this discussion before about if spell weakness stacking up is not strictly better than just playing the card when you've got it. Incant is fine. Uh, and there was another layer to that that I didn't think of at the time is that if you so you play. Just say you've got a card that deals 10 damage, and you play it, that's 10 damage. And they've got one spell weakness, it deals another 10 damage. If they've got two spell weakness, you play it for 30, but that's still worse than playing it twice with one spell weakness, because the card itself has a stack of spell weakness, if you think of it like that. It's 10 times something. So you're, al you're already getting that it's already 10 times 1. So doing 10 times 10 is worse than just playing the card 11 times. It's it's It makes a lot of sense, and it is probably obvious to everybody else in here. 
Uh, you may as well just, you may as well just keep dying. You may as well just keep dying. Getting this means I'm actually going to take draw from this. I was thinking about taking energy. I'll consume this one. It's very greedy to go again, but sue me, I suppose. Especially because uh, Little Fade's going to be dazed on the top now. So, but I'm going to draw an Ancient Synergy, right? Yeah. She didn't die. All right. Well, that as well, I suppose. That as well is a thing. Where are all my tomb units? Yep, still in here. Still waiting. Definitely, definitely take draw for this. Definitely. This uh, this wave is slightly scary. I can't even daze one of you. I can't kill one of you and have also little fade die. That makes no sense. I'm just going to get rid of these. I'm not sure whether that's correct or not, but... Not rally. No. And that's why I duplicated that. Can't really play that here, can I? Oof. How could you? How could you do this to me? Uh, let's get a touch more damage on you. Now, is it the Entombed Explosives or the Remnant Host that gets more damage on you? I think it's the Remnant Host, right? No, I don't think it matters. This Clip Guardian punches the first one, and then a whole bunch of damage turns up on you, so... I will do the Remnant Host because it's more harvests. I really thought that would have done slightly more than that. I am confusion. Oh, it's because, uh, yeah. Uh, it's alright, we can take a bit of damage. 12, 12 is fine. That rally shard was quite obnoxious, and I'm upset, but beyond that, it's all good. And we will continue to just harvest, harvest triggers. And Ar Arcus is not coming back up here, so that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Just freeze any of it. It makes no difference. Uh, I mean, maybe freeze that. Maybe just wait and not play the rest of them and freeze it, but... I mean, maybe I should have played this one, and uh, but play this primitive mold next time to reform, because this one dies this turn, and it's a harvest. But then I guess I don't get this one done. So I mean, I should probably use this at some point. I'm not. I'm not playing this optimally, but I, it's because we're very strong. So. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Is there any way I get this frozen? No. You're definitely dead. 
Oh, that probably was. I had memories of the melted, and then I played everything else in my hand. Yeah. Just do that now, seeing as I can. I will just take a three days next turn instead. Kapla, take this Frozen Lance for 24, that's right. Good stuff. Some stuff is leaking through, but uh, it was mostly that Rally Shard. Just just did me day. Uh, Remnant Pact? Do I want a Remnant Pact one of these tombs instead? Sometimes my tombs aren't dying because I bring them back with reforms. And they end up having more health than I'm ready for. I don't think I need it. If I add it, then... I mean, I want to take some of these primitive molds away anyway, but I, I also will take the Frozen Lances away first. I mean, endless... Um, endless Remnant Host in front of Wickless Baron is super good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I know the deck's 31 cards, but I'm going to speed up our draw a bit as well now. Uh, definitely remove some cards. This was a magic shop and remove too, wasn't it? No, it was not. It was not. I'm still not going to go to a magic shop. Like, looking at it, I'm still not going to do that. I'm going to remove these bloody frozen lances. No, remove the train stewards. You made the same mistake again. Removing cards that power up your ancient synergy before removing the train stewards. Very silly. Uh, 15 armor is nice. Uh, resin block is also very good. Well, it's not very good, but of course there's Titan's Claws and Icicle Fracture, so you don't really need to say much more about it than that. Uh, this I can take this now, because it's likely to just... I will just keep it in hand and freeze it. I very, very rarely take this, but this is one of those situations where I am going to... The pivot into Lil Icarus here. The last minute pivot. Oh yes, yeah, six spikes might actually be quite good. Don't take spikes four, thank you very much. Sweep an ember drain. Oh no. I can't play on the bottom, can I? I need to maybe build up some stealth so I should play on the top so that I don't get ember drained. Uh, but you can just die anyway. Yeah, continue to play up the top here. Not play the train steward for that reason. Don't want to get ember drained by this. Pump six damage into it. Have the remnant host down early for the uh, potential remnant packed draw. That's very handy. Uh, have I got the energy for this turn? Yes. Six health. I'm going to do it like this. And get this Steel Pulley Claw Frozen right off the bat. And then with a bit of luck I draw the Stealth. If not, then we might have some miserable turns here. But I've got the Steel Pulley Claw to make it... i to just Steel Pulley Claw this straight away. Three dazed, 120 damage, but don't take any Ember Drain. That's fine, right? You pay four. You pay four Pyre damage here to not take any Ember Drain at all. Uh, nothing to reform. What do I want to freeze? This is endless now, so these aren't that good. I may as well just use them down here to help clear heavies. Uh, I'll get the memories frozen, I suppose. There's some value in that. This is the one I want to definitely want to die. So I think I will get rid of you and then get this Ancient Synergy frozen for the next turn.
It doesn't freeze curse. It doesn't freeze blights. Pretty sure. You can manually freeze blights if you have a card that says apply permafrost, but it doesn't do it for you. It doesn't randomly choose it for you. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Uh, so I definitely want to get rid of you because I don't want this Ember Drain. As I say, I'm desperately trying to play around Ember Drain even though I, it's not, you know, it's really not that bad. No, that's that was the whole plan, so I didn't have to play this. Although I'm not really using these, am I? Truth be told, they're just they're just very whatever currently. Will this kill everything? It won't make any difference. I just want them to die on the top, that's all. That's all I'm thinking about there. And the stealth has arrived. Jesus, look at this. Flipping massacre. I wonder if there's a downside to doing that and this remnant host is not dying. This rem endless remnant host is just a tank in its own right. It's crazy. Oh, I maybe shouldn't have done that. I can do this here. They'll die before the Ember Drain becomes a problem. Spend that whole turn, to whole combat trying to play around Ember Drain and then just feed them Ember Drain. Uh, I would like to get an Ancient Synergy in my hand, please. But it's not going to happen. They're still not dying. Alright, I'm going to lose my... I've got the memories of the melted in my hand as a backup. I've got extreme hard counters to this. I don't know why I'm belaboring the point so much. Plus I'm almost certain I just win. I just press enter and win anyway. Alright. Do we beat Seraph? That's a good question. Frenzied Swarm is now actively bad because of the Icicle Fracture, and same is same with Drain. And I uh, don't need a card to preserve cards. I'm preserving cards all by myself. Do I go fishing for that last quick and remove the last two train stewards and duplicate something? Or do I magic shop and... I mean, minus one on this isn't that great. I can probably just get it frozen. 20 pyre health I don't think is an issue. I'm definitely going to go this way. Multi-strike. Mold braces. None of these are particularly exciting, but I don't know what's more valuable. Rerolling this or rerolling this. If I reroll this and I see something I really want, I then can't do anything in the unit shop. Flickers liquor. That's uh, pretty good. That basically just solves all of the energy problems ever. Like, so much of the deck is now cheap between Frozen cards being zero and Flicker's Liquor because I'm playing Remnant Host basically every turn. 
I should probably try and freeze this so I don't end up playing it with Burnout, although playing it with Burnout is not terrible. This is quite a high damage combat as well, let's not forget. The units have low health, which is why I feel like quick is very important, but the actual, if if you're taking all of the hits, it's like 15 times 2, twice. Uh, not many of our cards say consume printed on them. Memories, remnant packs, steel pulley claws. So that's 15 health, that's just not irrelevant. But using a whole artifact shop for just three quarters of a uh, health event is not great. Combustible wax is interesting. It's a little. It's a nice backup. Should I have to start reforming things? But I don't think it's what I want. I don't want drafts with three burnout just sat there on the floor. And flickers liquor. I'm playing units. Right, side of fight's not going to be quick. So in that case, you can have twenty-one attack. Ah, is there sweep in this combat? I can't remember for the life of me if there's a sweep in this. I will give her the 10 health out of respect. Remove these bloody train stewards. And one last duplicate. Maybe it's Remnant Host, just so I see it quickly. It's not hugely critical. I do need something to block for that first lot of melee weakness, though. That first lot of melee weakness is potentially devastating. But I suppose I can just block with little fade. I'm going to take a bit more targeted backline damage. And I know that sounds weird, but being able to just pick off a Shade Wings, being able to pick off a 15 times 2 even at the price of an in-count on Seraph, is, is very valuable. All right. Seraph's mid, bottom is small. That's a pretty good turn one as well. You can die. Get you sorted. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which one of these gets frozen, although I'd kind of like one of these two, or arguably one of these two, but I don't... I'm never going to use this, am I? I'm never going to use it, let's be honest. It's very rare that I'm actually going to end up doing that. Right, Melee Weakness. Dead and dead, of course. We knew this would happen. Um, there are outs here. It's not, it's not devastating. It's not the end of the world. There are outs. It's going to involve at least two rallies and an incant, which is, is you know. Uh, so if I put Little Fade in front, that blocks one of these. But then I want the other one to hit. I oh, know I don't, because if one of these hits Wickless Baron, then it's 30, and then there's the 20. So this this is the best way to survive it, is this 20 getting doubled. But I can't do that either. I'm going to have to do Little Fade, Entombed Explosive. I won't have to do the Incan, actually. If I do Entombed Explosive, it kills 15 kills this one back. Then this one kills the little fade. Then Seraph hits Weakless Baron for 40. Oh. No, I'm going to have to do... Oh, it's awkward, actually. It's really awkward. No, Weakless Baron's just going to have to take this melee weakness and, and run with it for a little while, which I don't like, but there's there's a good chance that he never actually gets hit in this whole fight. And when he does, it's not relevant. It's going to be Entombed Explosive... Frozen Lance Flash Freeze. And then the 20 from Seraph just hits the Entombed Explosive and Wickless Baron gets away with it. And that's only one rally and two incants. Oh, 
Will I just leave it like this? The other thing I could do is I could put Little Fade down. And if the thing with putting Little Fade down is that she doesn't die, but she takes the melee weakness for the next round. And then this Shade Wings comes up, hits Little Fade for 17 times 2, and then hits Wickless Baron for 17 times 2, and then all the melee weakness is gone. That's probably okay. And I'll definitely save this Flash Freeze for when I know I definitely want to use it, because currently it's fine. Oh no, Little Fade did die. How did I get that so wrong? Alright, Wickless Baron is now on two stacks of melee weakness. It's it's devastating. Is he just going to have to sit there with this melee weakness? I probably should get this Gilded Wing to punch him. I should probably plan for that. Uh, I am going to reform this and put it here so that one Seraph might... Oh, it burns out. Ah, crap. Alright, he's going to have three stacks of melee weakness, but I'm going to freeze this Remnant Pact at least. <laughs> Stop it! Please! Alright, this has to happen. Okay, 57. I think we should be alright now. My worry is that I get to Relentless and the Relentless combat just doesn't last very long because the first hit is worth four rounds. I could give him Endless. And then if he does eat it, it's fine. He comes back. But that doesn't help me during Relentless. I honestly don't know. I'm going to assume it's fine. I'm going to assume with a little fade on 425. Maybe I should go even further on this. I don't think I can. I think this is it now. I think I just have to just say that this is fine. And, uh, you unfortunately don't live, but it's whatever. Keep the molded. Please. Please. Uh, right. I'm going to encant you a lot as well. Uh, rally you a lot, which is also not my favourite thing to be doing. Does Remnant Host even save me here? I'm definitely going to do it. 
No, it doesn't. It's too many hits going down. What's this entombed explosive on? If I can get this entombed explosive to live for one round, then I have a chance of Seraph coming somewhere else for a turn and not having this be an utter flipping disaster. This one. Four hundred and twenty five from the little fade onto Seraph there is not to be sniffed at. Please just don't put the melee weakness there. Thank Christ. Right, I might just tank this one. I might just tank this. Is that foolish? It's not, is it, really? Let's be honest. I still pull claw you away, then I only take 40. And then all the melee weakness is gone. Forty-seven? Oh, fifty, and then you die. Yeah, not forty. Fifty. Yeah. Oh, that seems a bit worse. If I can get this engulfed in smoke, frozen, then like it should be fine, right? Like Seraph. I don't need that many rounds. Well, kind of do, I suppose. Hundred and forty attack. Maybe I should have killed you once more. Maybe I should have killed you once more. That's an extra nine health, I suppose. Please, I've tried so hard. Forty-one. You see, now I don't think it's worth it. Now I think it's it's just business as usual. Try and get try and just count this as healing and be done with it. Yeah, I'd absolutely love to hold on to that TBH. Oh, you both die. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Alright, final wave. Uh, so if I play this... Ah, that makes no difference. It makes, it makes no difference. Just stick to the plan. I'm not convinced, because this first melee weakness is going to do 66. It's not there, is it? It's not there. Ah, oh, there's the engulfed in smoke, though. And there's going to be the ancient synergy just to top it off. as a nice little topper. And he is going to get a whole bunch of health here as well. He's getting 15 from this. Any reason to play any of these cards? I also have to get my way through you before, which is less than ideal, but I guess I've got this for that. Gives you an in camp, but in the long term it's fine.
473. Alright, well that's horrible. 1,800... 1,182. 3,319. A round of Dazed. And an Ancient Synergy. Yes! I mean, I definitely should have played these two, but... That... Was hard fought. He's done it, though. He's bloody done it. An hour and ten minutes. Christ alive. Well, what can I say? Uh, we did it. Um... Probably shouldn't have been that hard for the strength of the run, I suppose, but you know who you're watching. You're watching your boy. You're watching me, your boy. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to let me know by leaving a like or a comment. And if you want to see more Daily Monster Stream, be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.